TV7 Israel News is made possible thanks to your generous donations. Shalom, good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcast to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. An Israeli sustained severe injuries in yet another terror attack this morning as the number of shooting attacks against Israeli civilians and soldiers is seemingly on the rise. Widespread riots erupt in northeastern Jerusalem as Israeli security forces maintain an unrelenting manhunt after the terrorist who committed the deadly attack on Saturday night. Lebanon and Israel separately announced breakthrough in reaching an agreement on demarcation of their joint maritime border, diminishing prospects of a forthcoming all-out war. Tensions continue to simmer in the West Bank districts of Judea and Samaria as well as northeastern Jerusalem. An Israeli sustained severe injuries this morning when a terrorist opened fire from a moving vehicle before fleeing the scene. The wounded Israeli was transferred to a medical facility for further treatment, while the IDF launched a manhunt in cooperation with the ISA or Shin Bet after the terrorist. It is important to know that the attack took place near the Israeli community of Shavei Shamron, which was subject to yet another shooting attack that was directed at the residential houses of the community last night. Thankfully, no injuries were reported in last night's attack. Meanwhile, Israel police, border police and ISA special operations forces remain engaged in a manhunt after the terrorist who perpetrated the deadly terror attack in the northern Jerusalem Shuafat crossing on Saturday night. Well, the Israeli security forces are reportedly making operational advances in pursuit of the terrorist, a resident of the Shafat so-called refugee camp. Dozens of Palestinian residents of Shafat have instigated riots in an attempt to frustrate the manhunt, prompting a number of arrests. לצד הפעילות המבצעית לאיתור המחבל, אנחנו פועלים באזור לטיפול נחוש, גם בהפרות סדר, גם באלימות וגם בניסיונות לפגוע בכוחות הביטחון. עצרנו בימים האחרונים חשודים שהפרו את הסדר וניסו לפגוע בכוחותינו. It is important to know that the security guard who was severely injured in the deadly terror attack on Saturday night in which Sergeant Noal Azal was killed continues to be hospitalized in serious condition. אתמול בשעות הערב הגיע לבית חולים הדסה עין כרם מטופל בן שלושים עם פצע ירי בראשו מיד טופל על ידי הצוות טראומה ועבר לחדר ניתוח עבר ניתוח על ידי הצוות נרוכירורגית וכעת המטופל נמצא ממורדם ביחידה לטיפול נמרץ נרוכירורגית במצבו קשה מאוד well, Israel's defense establishment continues in its pursuit of the terrorists responsible for the separate attacks Commander Erez Tavol highlighted Israel's unyielding determination and capacity to protect its citizens. Yadenu, Aruka, Vitagia, Lekol Mechabel, Vasheru, Vanachunam Shikla, Asot Kolmash and Idrash, Lagain, Alizrahe Israel, Vime Achag, Ubichlal. Meanwhile, as part of Operation Wazebreaker, IDF, ISA, or Shin Bet, and Border Police Special Operations Forces conducted counter terrorism activity in the West Bank districts of Judea and Samaria, with chief focus in the Judea's district on the city of Hebron and the villages of Fajara and Zatara, in the Samaria district in the villages of Bitut and Khalil, and in the Menashe sector in the villages of Hirbet Ataye and Azana. At the culmination of the operational activity overnight, 10 suspected terrorists were apprehended and a number of illegal weapons Military gear and a stolen vehicle were uncovered and seized. 
No injuries were reported to the Israeli troops. It is worth noting that while the Israeli defense establishment has managed to attain impressive operational successes with the arrest of over 2,000 suspected terror operatives, alongside the removal of thousands of illegal weapons from the northern West Bank in particular, terror operatives on the loose continue to promote an armed struggle against the Jewish state. And while seemingly with their backs against the wall, there is an evident attempt to claim that Israeli successes constitute sheer election propaganda. In other news, Israeli National Security Advisor Dr. Eyal Khulata, who has the Israeli delegation in the U.S. mediated negotiations with Lebanon on demarcation of the maritime boundary in the eastern Mediterranean Sea, made a dramatic announcement this morning, quote, All our demands have been met. The changes we demanded have been corrected. We have preserved Israel's security interests. We are on the way to a historic agreement. Subsequently, Prime Minister Yair Lapid published a statement of his own in which he acknowledged that Israel and Lebanon have agreed to the U.S. proposed draft on resolving the maritime dispute between the two countries, proclaiming further, quote, This is an historic achievement that will strengthen Israel's security, inject billions into Israel's economy, and ensure the stability of our northern border. It is important to know that an agreement is expected to avert war between Lebanon and Israel, at least for the time being, since the Iranian proxy Hezbollah pledged to attack the Jewish state if it would activate its northernmost offshore gas rig, Karish, absent an agreement that would benefit Lebanon's economic interests. And while the fate of the maritime negotiations were obscure, Israeli Defense Minister Benny Gantz earlier this morning visited the IDF's Northern Command, which has been put on high alert and in tandem instructed to prepare for war. Jerusalem's top defense official further welcomed Lebanon's decision to accept a final draft which Jerusalem, under its current government, regards as beneficial for both countries. אני מברך על הודעת נשיא לבנון על קבלת ההסכם. ישראל מעוניינת בלבנון כשכנה יציבה ומשגשגת, וההסכם שאליו אנו מתקדמים הוא הגון וטוב לשני הצדדים. בחודשים האחרונים מערכת הביטחון ליוותה מקרוב את המשא ומתן על הגבול הימי בצפון בהיבט הביטחוני. עמדנו בנחישות על כך שההסכם יבטיח את האינטרסים הביטחוניים של מדינת ישראל. לא ויתרנו ולא נוותר על מילימטר אחד של ביטחון. ההסכם מתקדם למרות איומי ארגון הטרור, של, ארגון הטרור חיזבאללה שניסה לחבל בתהליך ולא בגללו. נמשיך לעמוד על הצרכים הביטחוניים בכל תרחיש ולספק ביטחון לאזרחי ישראל. נוודא שההסכם מקיים גם את זכויותיה הכלכליות של ישראל ונציג את ההסכם לציבור באופן שקוף, ברור ומתחייב על פי החוק. As mentioned by Defense Minister Gantz, Lebanese President Michel Aoun announced that he had agreed to the terms of the agreement. In the hours that led to the President's decision, Beirut's Deputy Parliament Speaker, Elias Bao, who headed the Lebanese negotiating team, conveyed to President Aoun that the terms brokered by the Americans ultimately brought about a deal that satisfies both Jerusalem and Beirut. والجهد اللي انعمل خلال الأسبوع الماضي هو لحتى الفريقين يعتبروا كل واحد منهم حصل على الضمانات اللي بده إياها وأخذ اللي بده إياه باتفاق عادل نحن بالنسبة لنا الملف أنجز اليوم نوضع قدام فخامة الرئيس الموضوع صار بعهدته والجو كتير إيجابي تجاه الشغل اللي انعمل من قبل الوسيط الأمريكي والإدارة الأمريكية لأنه فعلا فينا نقول اليوم توصلنا إلى حل يرضي الطرفين وكل اللي بيعرف قديش صعب أنه نحن نكون عم نعمل حل من هالنوع اليوم صارت بعهدة فخامة الرئيس فينا نقول نحن خلص دورنا فخامة رئيس الجمهورية من هلأ للساعات القادمة رح بيكون القرار لإله 
وبده يتصرف بالطريقه اللي بلاقيها مناسبه لاعطاء جوابات اليوم النهار رح بيكون في تطورات كثيره ولكن الجميع بانتظار انا مش بس بدي اقول بلبنان بلبنان وخارج لبنان بانتظار ما سيصدر عن لبنان بخصوص هذا الاتفاق It is important to highlight that while the announcement by President Tawn makes significant headway in ratifying this agreement, a number of scenarios which could abruptly prevent ratification remain. And while details of the deal remain obscure, an Israeli security cabinet meeting followed by a special government meeting are due to be scheduled, at which the agreement will come before the government for approval before it is subsequently presented to the Knesset Hebrew for Parliament. Thank you for watching TV7 Israel News. I would like to start by voicing our deep appreciation for TV7 Israel's family of supporters and underline to those of you who are not aware, TV7 Israel is a donation-based ministry. Therefore, if you're blessed by our productions, please consider making a financial contribution that in turn will enable us to sustain our ongoing operations here in Jerusalem. Additionally, I would like to encourage you Pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters worldwide and for the peace of Jerusalem and salvation of Israel. I'm Jonathan Essen wishing you a Chag Sameach V'mevorach and we will see you again tomorrow at the same time.